Hello and welcome back to another episode of What's Jamie Up To? And today I am unboxing a recent Facebook Marketplace item I've picked up locally. This cost me £15. Um, let me just lift the tripod up because it's quite large actually. This is a 1992 Jaguar Challenge Scale Electrics with Mega Sound with the Jaguar XJ220 and the Ferrari. I think it's an F40. Uh, I'm not au fait with supercars, so couldn't tell you too much about it. Um, let me just take the phone off of the tripod and we'll go around the box rather than lifting it up. Here we go. Okay, let's have a look at this. Um, you've got the magnets, which is how the cars stick to the track. I had a Scale Electrics as a boy. Um, I got one, one birthday actually, but it was a figure of eight with the bridge over the top. This is quite a large track actually. I've just had a quick peek inside. Um, Jaguar XJ220, yeah, Ferrari F40. Um, I just had a quick check inside. Uh, excuse the mess in the kitchen because um, it's one of the kids' birthdays today. So I thought I'd treat myself to a scale electrics. Um, yeah, so there is some specifications here. Made by Hornby. And those in the know know that they make model trains too. So let's pop you back on the tripod and we'll have a look inside. Right, we'll lift off the lid. Uh, the box is a bit battered. It was in some, some old boy's garage. Um, so I'll just tape up the corners here. Um, a bit of a rip, a bit of a rip there, but you know, it's just one of those, isn't it? You know, 1992, it's 30 years old. He did have, have it for 25. Oh, scared one of the dogs. I did have, he did have it for 25, but quick cheeky offer, 15 pounds, and he soon accepted it. Happy days. Right, let's have a look what we got then. So, I think these are like the bridges. Um, you have to bend them around and the track goes over the top. Not sure, totally different to how I remember scale electrics. I haven't used one or played with one for many, many a year. Um, here are the triggers for making the car go round. Um, and here is the speaker um, for the mega sound. And you've got the three and a half mil jack there. I think it's three and a half, or is it one and a half? Who knows? The jack plug there for plugging it into the power. Um, we've got one, two, so, oh, batteries as well. Was it? I don't, I don't know, I'll have to look. It's got, it's actually got the instructions with it, which is great because I've no idea what I'm doing. Barbie horse trailer. Now, that's not the instructions, is it? Um, Hornby, recommend Duracell. Um, yeah, all the, all the inserts and leaflets. Service department. So I suppose back in the day, before pre-internet times, um, you could send it off and be repaired. Oh yeah, these yellow things are the bridge here. So, quick flip through there. This is to totally different to how I remember. Ah, now you can replace these. I have seen these bits on eBay. These are the magnets, I believe, that go on to the bottom of the car. Can you see that in this light? I haven't got the light turned on on the tripod. Um, so yeah, this is the Jaguar XJ220 car. Um, and this is the Ferrari. F40. That feels a bit weightier, actually, so that feels a bit better. Made in England. Uh, you've got the motor on the back there that will turn the wheels. Uh, and all the track and everything in there. The power supply. Um, you've got the little crash barriers. Um, the flags. So what I'll do is I will have a flick through and... 
I don't think, I don't think that's part of it. I'm pretty sure it's not. Who knows? We'll find out in a bit. All right, well, we'll have a look through the box and I'll have a bit of a clean up because the track does look like it needs a bit of a clean. A bit of corrosion there, a bit of wear and tear. Um, I think you can probably clean that up with a bit of wire wool or a bit of white vinegar, something like that. Um, so let's have a bit of a clean up and get it set up. It looks like quite a substantial track, in all honesty. So while the kids are out, and the wife's out, they've gone shopping. I'll have a bit of a play. Back in a sec. Okay, I just thought I'd demonstrate how to click the track together. Um, you can see the wire tracks, they have to sort of male and female parts. So you put them in there and you can flip it over um, and these click together so that is how you click the track together let's get the rest of it made and get the cars going right okay I've got the track set up actually took me quite a while to set up actually I just followed the the instructions on the box um, some of the pieces are bigger than others so they have to be in the right place for the track to join up properly um, it's a relatively flat floor here so best just set it up in the kitchen I really like this piece here because it's curved there are obviously flags and barriers um, and wedges that you can put under here but just for the purposes of demonstration for the video we'll just set it up and obviously there's only me on my own here um, so I've got the Ferrari F40 on the bridge I've turned it on, it's actually working, and this has taken me back about 35 years. So let's just give it a quick blast and you can see how it works. The power supply, or the power base, um, just plugs in, um, just a normal plug, then you plug the into there, and it's with the metal on the track, you know, obviously if it makes a circuit, um, and the magnets on the car. That's how it goes around the track. Um, haven't tried the Jaguar yet. In fact, let's grab that. And give that a go as well. I mean, the Ferrari, I haven't got the, the sound working yet, so I don't know how to work that in a minute. But this, let's just give it a go. You've obviously got to be careful around the corners, because otherwise you'll come off, just like that. This is how it, can you see that? This is how it connects to the track. I think I showed it in an earlier video. Um, that doesn't look in the best condition on the Jag, so here we go. How's it going? No, it's not working on. I don't know how to do the sound. Um, not the sound. There's a button on there. Uh, hand throttle, get warm in use and give off a slight smell when new. This should cease after approximately five minutes. Well, obviously it's not new, so it's not giving off a, a smell. But I don't think it's been used for a very long time. So, I'm going to have a bit of fun with this. And this is basically the an easy way or like a beginner's guide of how to set it all up um, it's relatively straightforward um, I mean you can put all the bits and bobs on but I'm not going to bother I mean I'll wait for the kids 
we'll have, when it's a rainy day, we'll set it up, we'll set it all up properly and we'll have some good races. Uh, and I'll sort out the Jaguar as well. So I may do a follow-up video once it's all set up and ready to go. And thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed of late. And thank you to all of my subscribers. And please like this video as it really helps like-minded individuals find videos or content um, like this. And again, the next time you find yourselves on YouTube, why don't you have a look and see what's Jamie up to? Uh, I've just taped up the edges and I've just noticed this, so I thought I'd just tag this onto the end of the video. Um, there is a flap on the box uh, where you can just have a look at some of the bits that are inside. Um, the cars, the track, all the bits, and a bit of spec for the cars, um, and the track set up. Okay, thanks again.